employees work in food service, painting landscaping, custodial and passenger screen services, and family housing. Learn more at pineindustries.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, joining me now is Huggy from the YouTube demo team. Huggy, what are we about to see, brother? Hey, thanks, Alan. Good to be back here on the booth with you here today. Take a look to the right there, folks. On the taxi, one of the most legendary and iconic military aircraft in history, directly from the famous Skunk Works, it is the U-2. As the aircraft taxis by, you'll notice on the middle of each wing a set of outrigger wheels, painted orange. Those wheels, like you would see on a B-52 or a Harrier with the tracks on the U-2, they're going to actually fall off on takeoff. Okay, I have to tell you, the paint job on that thing is absolutely spectacular. of the aircraft, you will notice it is a single-seat aircraft, fighter-type cockpit, really interesting cockpit, actually. It's an F-104 cockpit, in essence, but instead of having a stick, it has a, a C-130 yoke, so a combination of a number of Lockheed products. Look at the main gear. It's about a two-foot diameter wheel on there to give you, the, uh, give you the scale. And on the back of the aircraft is the tiny little tail wheel back there. And one final look. Our pilot major, Nick Beamer, call sign Demo. Demo's in the cockpit running through his final checks right now. Especially with the, <laughs> the headwind he's got today. He's a fairly lightweight aircraft today for the demonstration. You'll see how quickly the aircraft will come off. He's got about 20 knots ahead when I'll say that the takeoff roll is going to be about four to 500 feet. That's it. Wing, 104 foot wing, 104 
comes up a number of times in the history of the U2. 104 foot wing. The design of the aircraft was uh, came after the F-104. A lot of components of the F-104 were used on the U-2. And there was 104 U-2s built in history. Easy to remember all that. Also, we've got the, the out of the pods that you see on the aircraft. Now those are not fuel pods. Those are actually equipment pods. And this is one of the things that makes the U-2 extremely special. It's the amount of reconnaissance equipment we can take up into the air.